Welcome back. Today, let's talk about active focus and let's talk about one of the common overlooked and possible misconceptions about active focus. But first, my name is Jake Stein. I used to have minus five diopter high myopia, now I have 20 20 eyesight. I didn't do LASIK, I didn't do magic eye exercises, I didn't take any pills. If you're not familiar with any of this, more links below on how to reverse your myopia, get your eyesight back. Now, active focus is one of the topics that we talk about a lot because active focus is the key stimulus that improves your eyesight, reduces your myopia, gets your vision back to lens-free 2020 and beyond. And I'm not gonna re-explain all of the details because so much has been said about active focus, I'll try to remember to link some of that below. The basic premise being something that is slightly blurry, ideally text because text uses something called recall, easier to focus on, it's a bit blurry. You blink, the text clears up. And for people that have been wearing glasses that offer a very strong correction that don't give you blur ever, sometimes are confused by this idea of active focus. The idea that something that is blurry without you changing the distance, without you squinting at it, you can just blink and it clears up. Not perfectly, but it's clearer than before you blinked. Is confusing, like they're not familiar with how does this work. And as somebody pointed out to me recently, I often forget to mention that this is a not something that I've made up specifically. It exists and is present in people that have normal, natural, no need for correction eyesight. Because your vision is not necessarily always perfect. Low lighting conditions, you spend a bunch of time watching Netflix, you had a super high carb meal, whatever the case may be. If you ask people who never need a glasses, have you ever not been able to see something clearly? And did you clear it up somehow? If you have people who think about it, you know, like the menu in the back of Starbucks and it's Starbucks is dark and you're trying to read the new whatever special. I don't know, I don't go to Starbucks. People will tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I have to blink at it, it clears up. It's so naturally occurring that, that it sometimes takes a moment to get people to think about it and go, yeah, yes, my vision isn't always perfect. And yes, there is a thing that I use to make my eyesight clear. It's normal. Right? Like this is not a special new trick that you have to discover when you do myopia. It's something that you may have lost through years and years and years and years and years of strong lens wear that your vision is always fantastic and you lose that ability to go, wow, that's blurry and I know how to clear that up by making that blink and things clear up. So I'm saying this just because it's psychologically sometimes helpful to go, hey, this isn't a new thing. This is a thing that I had. This is a thing that my friends who don't need classes have. And this is a thing that the access to which I've lost. I've forgotten how to access active focus and I'm rediscovering it, right? That's all it is. Because as with all things in myopia, there's nothing new here, right? Like the iGuru jokes are iGuru jokes. In fact, everything here is either clinical science or a bunch of people's discoveries and joint direction of things. Biology as it stands, there are no exercises and no eye vitamins. There's no special trickery here. It's just all the things I'm giving you is basically access to how your eyes generally work and should work. And as you reduce your adopter dependence a little bit, you rediscover these things, right? Like if you wear distance glasses, I give you 20, 30 vision. There will be those times in the proverbial Starbucks that is semi in the dark and the small print behind the barista where you go. Hmm, that's difficult to read. Like those are the bits of challenge that you want. You don't want too many of those bits. You just want a little bit of them. My right? little side note here for all my friends who like to just throw away their glasses. Don't. Little bits of stimulus. Finding active focus. More links on that below if you're not familiar. A lot has been discussed in the Facebook group. A lot of people have used different words to explain their experience or different tricks that got them to rediscover active focus. Maybe a little bit of a project for you. Some people just got it. Some people get it quickly. Some people have a bit of a challenge with it. That's it for this one. As usual, as with active focus, since it's a bit of abstract concept, this is the best I can do to explain it. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Leave comments. Feel free. I do read them. And uh, see you in the next one.
meow, meow, meow.